Hey you guys, if you want to see how to achieve this subtle purple lip, then stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so the first thing that I did was applied a lip balm to moisturize my lips so it won't be um, um, dry, you know, with the lipstick. Even though the lipstick I'm using isn't dry and I just like to have an extra moisturizer, you know, under my lip. And what I'm using is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Swivel Stick. And it's not a glue stick. Because every time when I was in school, everybody would be like, you dropped your glue stick, you dropped your glue stick. It's chapstick. So I used that and I let it sit for like about five minutes or so. And the next thing I'm going to do is take a lip primer. You can use any kind that's out there. I just had this one, so. And it never really gets used, so I'm going to use it. And this is by Mary Kay. My mom used to sell it, so, yeah. Alright, and what this is going to do is help fill those nooks and crannies in your lips so you can get, like, a smooth application. Alright, and so while that is sitting, I'm going to go in with Max Current Lip Pencil. It's like a brownish burgundy purple color. That's what it looks like. I'm not good at lining my lips, so bear with me. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to smudge it anyway, so. Okay, so there we go. We got this sloppy old line. Alright, so next, what I do, I just take my finger and blend it up into your lip. What this is going to do is, like, give it a little more definition and um, keep your lipstick on your lips and not going out of the lines of your lips. And I'll try to have pictures at the end. If not, I'm sorry. I'm going to try the. Looks like that now. Tell me how you guys like this lighting. Like I've been using, I've been playing with lighting. So I've been using a whole bunch of different things. Alright, so next I'm going to take the lipstick. And it's called Go For It by MAC. And it's a cream sheen lipstick. Um, I forgot what collection it came out with. But when I saw it, I was like, I have to get this lipstick, even though I was like, I may not be able to wear it because, you know, it's purple. But I was I was playing around with it and just found like a way that you can wear it and it'd be subtle and, you know, it's kind of neutral. So what I'm going to do next is just apply the lipstick. I like to go with like little strokes. And then just build it to the desired color. And I think that's going to do it right there. So you should look like this right now. So the next thing I'm going to do, I like to blot on just a piece of paper. Like not so hard, but just like a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to take two lip glosses. One is a Cream Sheen Glass by MAC and the other one is a Lester Glass. And this one is called Chillin'. And this one is called Spring Bean. And I just like the way it looks with both of them um, together, combined together. 
So what I do, I usually take the stick out. Then I use my own stick. Even though this is my lip gloss, I just don't want to get purple lipstick on the applicator. So I got my own. Then I just take some right there. And then just dab it on my lips. And guys, tell me how I did with this video too. I mean, I don't know. And that also like tones it down a little bit too, as you can see. And I like to keep blotting, so. Cause I don't want it to be too out there, you know. I want this to be wearable. I mean, some people like to go out the house with bright lip stuff on. That's just not me, so. Alright. And then I'm going to take Spring Bean. And I'm going to just take the back of my brush. Because it's clean. And then just get a little bit on the applicator. Ah. And then just apply that to... The last step I like to do, I like to take like a little concealer brush like this and take NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. I depotted it. And I like to go above my lip, the Cupid's bow area right here, and like highlight right here. Let me see. I might have to look in this mirror. Just dab it right there. And then put your finger, smear it up. So you get like a little highlight and it kind of makes your lips look fuller, a little bit bigger. And then I do the bottom right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then just... Do like that. And there you go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And again, tell me how I did. Um, Yeah. I'm not scared of criticism. But, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.